What is up everyone and welcome back to another video. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys go down below this video and click on that subscribe button. I need to get out of the sun because I'm blind right now. Oh, good thing I have this big trailer here. So, for this evening's video, me and John, he's right behind me there. You can see the taco back there. We are driving around. We just pretty much drove around this whole lake. Well, more John than me in this Tacoma because I have the trailer on. So John just made his rounds and checked a ton of spots around this lake we were going to try. And there are just like not really any signs of fish out here. It's not looking too good. We didn't find any real structure or anything good that we liked. So we're going to buzz over to a different lake right now. We're not going to be fishing at the lake we planned on fishing, but we have about an hour until prime bite this evening. So we're gonna hurry our butts up and go to a different spot drill some holes find some fish Hopefully and we're gonna try to fish tonight So I don't know if we still plan on walleyes or crappie or what we're gonna do We might go to a crappie lake. We might catch some walleyes I'm not really sure so we're gonna buzz to the next lake look for a new spot and we will see you guys when we arrive to our new spot All right, we've finally found a spot that me and John were both happy with and it is quarter to five right now so sunset is about 5 30 so we're right on time for the evening bite tonight I just got my four holes drilled the trailer all set up generator hooked up so I am ready to drop lines down and start fishing here so this evening John is not gonna be fishing in the trailer with me he's gonna be filming his own little video camping in his pop-up so he has his big hub shack out there and he's gonna be kind of roughing it on the ice with his cotton stuff like that so he won't be in here too much this evening so what I'm gonna do here in South Dakota you can have four lines a person so I got all four holes drilled out and ready to go so I'm gonna be rocking the line alarms of course I'm gonna have my two up front and then I'll have one back here and then I'll be jigging out of this hole so we'll be jigging here for suspended crappies uh, mostly is what I'm gonna be targeting and then with the line alarms we'll have like two towards the bottom probably that one and that one about six inches or a foot off the bottom here and then that one we'll have for crappies probably suspended a little higher so that's the plan i'm gonna get some lines down here i'll start with the line alarms and then we will see you guys if i get one on those while i'm still setting up otherwise we'll see you when we are jigging all right i'm literally just setting up here and there's already a fish on the line alarm let's see what this fish is Ooh, feels decent oof a smaller perch it's not ideal but it's a decent sign there's at least fish here and hopefully there's gonna be some walleye rolling in once these once it gets a little bit later here all right well we are officially all set up everything's ready to go shack is pretty organized I got a lot of stuff in here always so I try to clean it up my best but we're ready to fish so I'm gonna get my tungsten baited up here. We're gonna start out running my favorite little tungsten. I have no clue what brand it is. I've had this thing for like a year. Somehow have not lost this yet or snapped it off. But this is what it is. Just that little guy right there. It's got some fancy little beads on there shaking around. And I just got it tipped with a few spikes there as you see. We'll start out with two spikes. There we go. Yup, just as I suspected, perch. Oh, he took my spike. That might get annoying. Let's switch over to a plastic quick. Gonna switch over to a little red lake effects plastic. I think these perch and whatever's down here right now are really hungry by the looks of it. And I don't think they're gonna care if it's live bait or plastics and plastics stay on quite a bit longer usually. So let's do a little switch up here. Oh yeah. Let's give this a try. Oh, first fish coming up to the plastic. Racing up. There he is. Ooh, that's a little bit bigger. Nothing to be too excited about, but it's a bigger perch. Biggest one so far. Tons of perch down there. Tons of perch. I already got one coming up to me. Oh, yeah. Jesus, just crushing me. Tons of perch down there. Hopefully the perch don't continue too long and we can get some crappie in here. This is keeping me entertained right now though. It does not take long to get one of these things to come up to you. Already one coming up. I don't know how they can tell I drop it down that fast. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is insane. 
All right, since there's so many fish down here, I'll see if John's a nice guy and lets me borrow his underwater cam quick. We'll throw the underwater camera down there and get a couple catches on that maybe and see what the heck's going on down there because there has to be a ton of fish down there. Ooh, look what we got. Thanks, John. Get this sucker fired up here. Uh, the sun is just setting right now, so it's getting a little bit dark. Not sure. We are in about nine feet of water here, so it's not too deep. So I think we'll have enough light to see down there. Uh, but let's see what's going on here. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Wait till you see this. There are perch everywhere. I have to get the stand. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I had to get the aqua view stand for the camera from John, but there's already fish down here. Let's start recording for you guys. Oh yeah. Lots of perch down there, as you guys can see. So the bottom here looks like a little bit of rocks and sand. Um, hopefully, with all these freaking perch, hopefully we can get some walleyes to roll through tonight. It's definitely pretty, looking pretty good for walleyes down there with a little bit of rocks and sand. Looks fishy. Let's see if we can catch one on this. Let's see if my jig can get down there without a fish hitting it first. And then I'm sure we can catch one. Oh my gosh. Yep, I don't think my jig made it to the bottom. Nope, it didn't. There are so many of these things. I'm going to try fishing with no bait and see how long this takes. Just a tungsten. Bare tungsten. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so fast I like just gave up on fishing for a minute because I was catching so many with without bait everything I'm not really gonna deal with these little perch right now I'm gonna kind of wait and see if maybe some crappie will roll in uh, maybe if we can see a walleye otherwise I don't know I might give it about 45 minutes here if I do not see a crappie in that time or like a walleye or anything else other than these perch I might end up picking up and moving to a different spot where I know there's some crappie. Look at this guy. Hey, what's up, man? Why you put this down here? Dang, you thick, boy. You thick. All right, well, I gave it about a half an hour here, and it's still all perch. There's nothing but perch. Every time I try to put a minnow down to target some walleye or crappie, something like that, a perch just hits it. So I can't really run more than one line. I can't catch anything else but perch because they just attack me when I go down there, and I'm kind of sick of it. So we're going to head to a different spot on the lake where there's more crappie and less perch, and we're going to catch some crappie for sure and maybe a walleye over there tonight. So we will see you once we get over there. All right, boys. The Escalade's down. She's buried. But I got her prepped and we're about to get her out. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, never mind. All right, guys, well, I got unstuck. That took a little while. That was not ideal or planned. So hopefully I can still hit the bite over here, but I'm headed to the other side of the lake right now and I'll see you guys in the shack. All right, well, I am currently sweating. If you guys witnessed half of the stuff that just went on, you would probably be laughing hysterically. I got stuck about three times and the third time was right where we're fishing. So we're fishing where I got stuck. Hopefully it's good enough. It's pretty close to where I wanted to be. So I think we'll be fine. But uh, yeah, I got stuck for the third time. You guys saw part of the second one. It's pretty bad, took a while to get out. And then I had to get in here, drill holes, do all that stuff. And I was not gonna try to get myself out of this third spot. So we're here, we're set up. This is where we're gonna call home for the night until I wanna dig myself out tomorrow or something. So I'm dropping down with the plastic right now and not marking any fish yet, but we're going to see what happens here. There's something. Sunny. Not exactly what we want. All right, guys. I was just changing some camera batteries out. This guy started hitting my jigging rod here. We got a nice 10 and a half inch crappie here. 
Nice eater if we were going to keep them. I don't think I'm going to keep any just yet, but as the night goes on, I might want to keep some and have a little fish fry maybe tomorrow for lunch or something. So this guy's going to go back in the water. Hopefully the crappies start rolling in here. Definitely a nice first crappie. We're going to get them back in and get our lines back down. Oh, he's doing the Harlem Shake. Do the Harlem Shake. Right on me. Hitting me. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's a crappie. Yeah, baby. Another nice fish. Woo! Stuff's gonna start firing up here. Oh. Oh, there he is. This one's a little smaller, I think. Yep. Definitely a little smaller. Still a crappie, though. It's what we came for. Mostly crappie and walleye. But I'm glad I'm finally getting some crappie. I don't know how John's doing. John is still set up at the other spot, and he's camping in his pop-up hub. And I'm not sure how he's doing. I texted him, but he didn't text me back. So hopefully he's alive over there. There he is. Ooh, that's a better one. A lot better than the last one. Another nice crappie. Down the hatch. Little guy. Oh yeah. So the little tungsten obviously, I, I don't know if I told you guys, but I ended up switching over to some live bait here. The plastic wasn't uh, working insanely good, but that was when the sunnies were in here, so I didn't even try the plastic on the crappies really. So all these crappies I have had live spikes on, but they've been liking it, so I don't really want to try the plastics yet. Okay, these fish are starting to get real finicky for some reason and not really touching my bait. So I went even smaller than I was before. You can see how tiny that hook is. I just got one spike on there, and we're going to try that. This is also a glow tungsten, white. I don't know what it glows, maybe green or red. So a little bit different color. I mean, I don't know if they can see color at night or if that's a myth or what, but I got a glow jig on. I got a smaller jig on. Those are both facts. A little bit different presentation. Let's see if anything changes. I'm a glow boy. Oh, I'm an island boy. It glows green for your information. Let's see what happens. Oh dang, that thing's glowing like a bee. Yeah, yeah. I go stir crazy in here by myself, I'm telling you that. Like fishing with people in this all the time and then fishing by myself. Oh, man. Man, them snows are big. Woo! Wise words of a good friend, Corey Loeffler. Man, them snows are big. Woo! Oh. Oh! Was it a fluke or did this do the trick? Okay, first fish on the new setup. That was pretty dang fast. Let's find out if it's going to work for more than one fish. Okay, I dropped down on the highest suspended mark, 12 foot. Ooh, that's a decent mark. Oh, yeah. A little better than the last fish. Yes! That's what we like to see, right there. Good 11 incher. Mouth closed, 10 and a half inches. With the mouth open, 10 and three quarter. That's how you cheat yourself. Oof, oof, oof. There we go. smaller but with the big ones come the small ones or something like that Ooh, the sunnies are back not what we want to see all right i'm gonna catch one more fish here and then i might throw the gopro on my head or maybe we'll mess with the underwater camera or do something a little bit different just to keep you guys entertained, but I'm going to give you guys a different angle or the underwater camera or something a little bit cooler than this. Yeah! Okay, see? Now that is disappointing. Alright, you guys are getting a little bit different angle here. You guys haven't seen the shack really from this angle where we sit. It's usually just facing back at us. 
Also, it is kind of a cluster. I have a lot of stuff in here, but oh, we got a fish coming up. I don't know how good you guys can see the Vexlar. Hopefully decent. But we do have our first fish of the GoPro footage. First fish of the GoPro footage. And it's a little crappie. Go get your dad. There we go. Ooh, that's a decent fish. That's a little better. Oh, this is a cluster. Oh yeah. Biggest one of the night. That was very aggressive too. Really aggressive. So a little bit bigger than our other one. See you later, buddy. There he is. I just missed him, little guy. Oh, I should have just left it at missing him. Dang, another little sunny? <sighs> Who is it? Bro. Did you think it was a DNR for a second? No, I didn't think it was the DNR, bro. DNRs don't drive Tacomas. I heard your V6 from a mile away. Is that like a diss or? Yeah, it was, definitely was. Suspender at nine feet, easy pickings. Just kidding, I just scared it away. Good. Oh, yeah. See, John gets here, he's good luck. Oh. Yeah. 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 Well, as you guys can see, John is here now. I know, I know, we're all disappointed. See that? That's a good one, Luke. That's a good one. Thanks, John. That was the nice thing you've said to me. You should have got fish tonight. You would have had a good fry. I hope you put a glow tungsten on it. What's up for you, Luke? You shall. Oh, right off his mouth, bro. How did I have a funny feeling that would happen? That sucks. It's been like negative. Oh, look at that hook set. Yes, sir. Oh, good. Adam and this. You should be like, if I catch another. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, good, Bucky. Luke didn't believe me when I said we could cook brats in his little oven here. He's like, no, that won't work. Let me fire up that little black stone. I'm just saying nobody can take you serious with that one glove on. What do you think you're Michael Jackson? All right, guys, check this out. Read it and weep, Luke. Dang, that actually looks good in there. That's what I'm saying. It was gas as And we got rice. Well, everyone knows we have rice. Yeah. I told them every time in the trailer from now on, we're cooking rice. Yeah. So, look at this. If this don't get you going, I don't know what will. Yo. Step one, complete. Step two, some soy sauce. Step three, chop your brats that you cooked in your toaster oven. That actually do look fire though. Step four, apply your sausage to the rice. And there you have it. Another excellent ice shack meal brought to you by BW Films and Mindak Outdoors. All right, John's already digging in. Is it good? So good. All right, I'm gonna give it a try here. All right, my bad for doubting you to cook these in the pizza oven or in the toaster oven. That's good. We're gonna finish eating this food here. We'll see you guys on the next fish. See ya! See ya! See ya! See ya! Oh, good. Put it on. I didn't expect you to pull up a good one. All right, another chunker here. We're still eating. 
I caught one little sunny, as you saw, and this guy was the next one. But we're gonna get him back down and keep fishing. All right, guys, welcome back to the BW Films Takeover. This is John from Min Outdoors. Uh, we actually have some guests now in the trailer. Wait, where did the other guests go? Uh, I think he's peeing. All right, well, my boy Cass is here, and then Luke went outside. Cooper's out there too, which we'll, we'll see what they do once they open the door here. It is a tad cold out there. So this is Cooper, the other guest. Hi. Look at this freaking beauty. Let me, see, let me see the mullet. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow, that was greasy. Yes, it is. It's It's been a long day. Anyways, guys. Yeah, we got the two guests now. We just made a pizza for them because I'm an awesome host. And I'm going to hold the camera and the boys are going to start fishing. I'm just going to point the camera at people when they're about to clap a fish. Justin's already caught two crappies since he's been in here. Both have been eaters, too. All right? He's using plastics. Luke's still using a tungsten and spikes. Yep. Coop using spikes too, aren't you? Yes, sir. All right, let's see what happens. I'm just saying this is the ultimate flex. What's the ultimate flex? Having Mindak Outdoors be my cameraman. Coop in a, Cooper, in order to be in the video, you have to do something dumb. That is true. If, if I catch a fish, I will take a bite out of its head. Will Luke catch a fish? <sighs> is that good? Hey, y'all are slacking over there. Max. You guys came over for one reason, to make content. This not happening. They just eat all our pizza, bring us some bougie graft. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, damn. That's how light it was hooked. Take it. Yep. The content is getting fire now. What a bruiser. Hey, he's got to take a bite off its head. Oh no. I do not. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know if it's worth <laughs> Bro. That did not just happen. The crunching was what got me, bro. <laughs> Where else do you see it, folks? BW Films, baby. Ho oh, ho ho! Nice head, bud. I'm just kidding. This is my first crappie, though, in like probably two hours. I have been sucking at fishing in the last couple hours here. Nice fish. Give us a rundown of the night, now. Now. All right, rundown of the night. Fishing was slow, caught small fish. We ran out of water, so we have to do this now. It's time to go home. Well, you heard it there. It is day number like four, I think four or five in South Dakota, and it is definitely time to go home. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked the video, make sure you guys click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not done that yet, and we will see you guys on the next one. See ya! See ya!